guys, Caleb Yonkers with Flow Theory Grappling here, and today we're going to be going over a couple of leg entries from Butterfly Half Guard. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so if you need an easy way to pommel the butterfly hook in from a regular half guard, right, um, we're going to want to play with a high knee shield like so. And now from here, I can use this pivot point on his shoulder to look to pommel my butterfly hook in, right? So that pivot point enables us to pommel in or out relatively easily. Whereas if I have a low knee shield, right, he's putting that pressure, it's really hard to get my butterfly hook in, right? So high knee shield, right, we can pommel that hook in pretty easy, right? Now we're gonna be looking to attack this far leg, right? So to do this, right, we can work with a scoop grip, right? Or later on I'm gonna show an alternate grip. But all right, for now we're gonna have to scoop grip, right? And now, from here, right, I can come, I can gable grip, or if I feel like I can pull him with just the scoop grip, I can work with that, right? But right, a lot of times I'll come in, get that gable grip, and now my bottom foot here can go to the mat, right? And this allows me to pull him on top of me and get to my other hip, right? Now from here, right, we have wrestle-ups and heists we could do, right, but we can also just look to fire into ashigarami like so, in which we can attack our outside heel hooks, uh, etc. cetera, right? So again, pummeling my butterfly hook in, like so, using that high knee shield, right? I'm gonna come, I'm gonna take a scoop grip on that far leg, and now from here, I can lock my hands, put my bottom foot on the mat, right? And now I can load him up on top of me, taking him all the way to my other hip, right? Now from here, right, we could stay in X guard, we could look to wrestle up, right? Or we can look to fire over into an Arimi Ashigarami, right? Or even start reaping back in our heel hooks, etc. Hey guys, if y'all are enjoying the video so far, I'd really help us out if y'all could like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the video. I can also use a, a shoelace grip here on that far leg. So instead of scooping, I can come through and I can get my partner's shoelaces like so. This is an even stronger grip because if my partner tries to sprawl out of this at all, Right, it's really difficult for him to get that leg back, right? Um, now make sure you are at the knuckle line of your partner's toes here, right? If I'm by the ankle, he can easily just sprawl that leg back, right? But if I'm on the, the knuckle line, he tries to sprawl back, he's not getting that foot out, right? And now from here, we can do the same thing. Pull my butterfly hook in, right? Now I'm going to switch to a cross lap post. Use my other foot to guide him over, right? And now I can fire over and start attacking from there. Right. Now, another thing we can do with that shoelace grip, right, and I've, uh, I've shown this in depth in another video, and I'll link that um, on the screen here somewhere, right? <laughs> so, but we can also attack the near leg, right? So we can go cross Ashigarami from here. So from here, uh, you're probably gonna be, wanna be on this side for this. So with this shoelace grip, right, I can uh, come in. I'm still going to put my, my bottom foot to the mat. Right? That way I can look to elevate him a little bit. I'm just looking to get enough space to bring my bottom foot out. Right? So once I elevate him up, almost like I'm attempting a sumigayashi, right? now my toes come to the mat, and I use my toes to build up onto my shoulder, right? the point of my shoulder, where now we can look to back step into the legs like so, by coming up, or... Right. Or again, I get the shoelace grip, right? I elevate him up, right? Now, if from here he starts pressuring into me really hard, I'm not going to be able to take him backwards, but I will be able to use his weight and momentum to roll him forward. And now we get our cross ashy entry. Keep in mind that we can play both of these attacks as a dilemma, right? Based on my partner's head position. So off this shoelace grip, I, if my partner's leaning way out this way with his head, it's going to be really hard. To, to elevate him and get and get my leg out and get to cross Ashley on that near leg, right? However, because he's leaning so far out in this direction, right, then it's easier to start taking him in that direction to attack the leg, right? Whereas if my partner's really leaning out this way, right, it would be really hard to take him that way and enter that far leg or Remy Ashi, right? So in this case, it'd be easier to take him out in the direction that he's leaning, right? And again, um, enter cross Ashi. 
on that near leg. Right? So just keep in mind, it is a dilemma. So your partner can shut each of these down at a time, but by shutting each down, will give you the opposite. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please uh, leave them in the comments. It really helps the algorithm uh, so that we can continue to grow the channel. Uh, if there are any techniques you want to see, again, let us know in the comments. Uh, subscribe, like, and thanks for watching.